Hello world, you're welcome to lesson 3 of the journey that's becoming a programmer. In this lesson, we're going to look at basic elements of C++ 2 and these are our objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and use at least 5 arithmetic operators to perform calculations. Explain how operator precedence affects the outcome of an expression. Convert at least 5 data types into other types that we call casting. Create variables and take user input, assign these variables with the values and output the result. And lastly, you should be able to define what preprocessor directive is. Use at least two of them, including string data type. All right, so let's begin. Now, we start with arithmetic operators. Now, one of the most important uses of a computer is its ability to calculate. Now, imagine if you have a computer and then it cannot even perform a common mathematical expression. Now, what would be the use of the computer itself? The, 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 its name even derives from to compute, to calculate something. You can use the standard arithmetic operators to manipulate integral and floating point data types. But there are five arithmetic operators that I want us to have a look at. Now, the first one, we have the addition operator, we have the subtraction operator, multiplication, we represent it with a star, the division, we have the forward slash, the modulo, we use what looks like the percentage, and then we have what we call the in increment operator, and then the decrement operator. Now, we are going to, you know, uh, throughout this course, the few exercises that we've performed, we've done some arithmetic you know operation and calculations in there but the reason why we have to look at this again is how we can transform our expressions into computer expressions to give us the kind of output that we want now assuming that you have two variables that is a and b let's say that a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 20 Let's use these variables to perform these calculations in our um, exercise. So I'm going to launch the NetBeans. All right, so NetBeans is done. And I'll click to create new project, uh, C++ application, next. Let's name it as Arithmetic Operate. Yes. OK, so finish. The project is created here. And as usual, let's change the standard by going to right clicking on the project, selecting properties, select C compiler, and then come to the C standard. And then let's select the version 14, C 14. And then you click on apply and you click OK. All right, so go to the source file and then open the main.cpp. Okay, so we have our project here. Let's declare two variables. So this, we're going to have and a which is equals to 10 and you have int b which is equals to 20 so let's comment our code and say declaring variables remember it's always good to comment your code so declaring variables and then perform an operation so the first thing that i like is to look at is the addition subtraction modification you've, you've pretty much seen all of these so let's do let's print out c out a plus b equals okay equals then we put the answer here as a plus b which you already know the answer and then c out a minus b equals then have a minus b and then and there now yeah, C A we want to multiply it by B equals okay then A times B then N L and then C out we want to do division A divided by B equals A divides B Endel. and what are we missing modulo so b modulo a c out i don't know why i always end up 
add an in to the C out. A of B modulo A, you are going to get an answer for it. And you also have the incrementer and then the, decre the decrement operator. Let's see what happens. A. Now, depending on the position of the decrementer, the decrement operator, and then the increment operator, you may get different values. Okay, we'll go in shortly. And then I'll explain that shortly. So A plus plus uh, and L. And then we have C out. Really? Right, am I in a rush to type count? Um, let's see what else. Maybe oh, E minus minus. E minus minus equals to, let's see what we get here. E minus minus. And then and L. I like to space my codes like this whenever I'm typing it. Okay, so now let's see what we get in our output. Okay, we have, oh. Yes, and as usual, we are supposed to include a directive, which we are going to look at shortly. IO stream. Don't don't forget to always include it. So now we can, you know, go about and print because we have included this IO stream. Will be the computer will be able to understand that what C out means. So we said A minus B is equals to minus ten because we know that A is ten and B is twenty times B two hundred. Um, we divide it and we get zero. Okay, and then A. A modulo B modulo A, we get zero, that is there is no remainder. And then A plus plus, you get 10. And then A minus minus, we get 11. But the question is, we said that, okay, for the A plus plus, it is an incremental, okay, an, an incremental operator. That means it is supposed to increase the value of A by one. And then when we did A minus minus, we had 11. And the question is, A is 10. And we did a plus plus, which we were supposed to get 11. And then now we are doing a minus minus, and then we have 11. So what is actually happening? Now, what happened here is this. Okay, when you put, depending on the position of the increment operator or the decrement operator, this is what happens. A, if you put it after the variable, that is a plus plus, what it's going to mean is that, okay, let's use the value of a after which we will decrease it by and we will increase it by one. So here the value was 10. So we have to print 10. Now after this statement, it was incremented by one and it became 11. And over here we said, okay, now let's use the value which has now become 11. And after using it, then we can decrease it by one. So if we add C out to print A again, we are going to have 11. So this is what happens. So C out. E, we are printing E after the decrement, decrement, which is going to be A. I'm just printing E. Okay, and then when I run this, this is what you're supposed to have. You see, now A plus plus means let's use the value of A. After using it, let's increase it by one. And so bef uh, before in incrementing it by one, the value was 10, which is here, and that is what we used. Now, after using it, it became 11, and therefore, when we executed this statement, which is A minus minus, we said, okay, let's use a value which has now become 11, after which we will decrease it by what? 1. And therefore, when we printed the value of A, we had 10. Now, if we have to print A again, after A, after increment, equals a then you you would understand so i'll run this huh. so we said let's use a after we increase it by one so we used a and the value was 10 and after we increased it and then it became 11 i didn't put the a there let me quickly put the a there okay so now we have the a there so a after increment it became 11 and a after after decrement, it became 10. Now, depending on the position of the increment operator or the decrement operator, it can change the value. Now, if you put it before, if you prefix it, the variable, which is um, minus minus, let's see how 
a min minus minus a equals to minus minus uh, equals to minus minus a and then c out plus plus a equals plus plus a now let's see what what is going to happen as we output this okay fine initial the value was a okay so a plus plus means let's use a value after which we'll increase it by one so after we printed just the a and then we realized the value has become 11 because of the incremental operator and now we said let's do a minus minus a minus minus this uh, decrement operator comes after the variable so we are saying that the compiler will say okay now let's use the value which is 11 after which we will decrease it by 1 which will become 10 so after the decrement a became 10 now when we bring it before the variable we are trying to say that now decrease it by 1 before using it now we know that the value here is 10 but when we printed we had 9 that is because this comes before the variable this comes before the variable it means that let decrease let decrease it by one before using it that is how come we have nine here and then when you have the plus plus before the a we say that let increase it by one before using it now now in a situation where a variable need to be increased by one before you use it know that the increment operator has to be prepared it has to come before the variable that way you get to add the one to the variable before using it and which is also important don't forget the symbol for the modulo don't think this is percentage it is modulo and this one is multiplication the star so we're familiar with this in our normal mathematical expressions all right 